professional cleaner Linda Dykes is teaming up with an army of obsessive cleaners because she believes they have a special set of skills which could help clean up Britain. Spotlessly clean. It was spotless in there. She cleans the top of a bin. What more can you ask? The next recruit is 41-year-old compulsive cleaner Claire, who spends four months of the year cleaning the three-bedroom house, which is home to her and her five children. Cleaning is the most important thing in my life. I have to clean. First thing in the morning, the first thing that comes into my mind is cleaning, and I have to clean pretty much day and night, any time. She's a bit obsessive, to be honest. If someone else cleans up, she'll redo it. Um, Everything's got to be in order. I have challenged myself to not clean it, but I can't. It has to be done. I have to wipe it. I had a big issue with carpets, because I had to have lines in the carpet where you have a fresh hoover mark. I've now changed to wood floors, which makes it a lot easier. Obsessed with smears and smudges, Claire, who also works as a minibus driver, polishes her fridge three times a day. I can't stand smears and finger marks because it sticks out really drastically. Claire's compulsion to clean drives her to clean up to eight hours a day and she expects her kids to fall in line. I treat my home with respect and the rules are set by me. What about these boots? Can you not put these boots? Yeah, some of it in the way. That's all right. I'll try to think what it'd be like if there was no rules. As one of Linda's cleaning volunteers, Claire believes that her obsession can be put to good use in other people's homes too. If I go into a house that's really messy and cluttered, I don't really know what it is. I will look at things and I have to clean them and make sure they're thoroughly clean. I do get an urge to clean it up because there's never an excuse for an untidy house. No. Claire will be helping Phil and Susie Higgs, whose house hasn't had a proper clean for five years. Oh, hi. Hiya. Hiya. Hiya, I'm Claire. Hi, I'm nice Phil. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Phil and Susie live in South London with their five kids and piles of junk. It would be lovely to live in a nice, tidy house. Um, I've never experienced it. For Phil, Susie and the kids, who range in age from 5 to 15, the house has become a dumping ground. This bike here is Joe's bike, and it's his Christmas present from last year. And now it's there, out of its box, and that's as far as we got. Sometimes I'll blitz this room, or I might blitz the kitchen, and within a week, it's, it looks like it did before I started. Susie and Phil believe there's one huge obstacle standing in the way of having a clean home. I'm not convinced that you can live in a tidy house with five kids, but... I don't think you can. It's not possible. Not, not unless they're tied up and in the cellar. And with Phil suffering from type 2 diabetes and Susie enduring constant migraine attacks, they've had enough and have finally asked for help. Neither of us very well, and I think that doesn't help. And we don't have enough energy, I think, to keep on top of it and to keep on top of the kids. Sometimes I feel embarrassed. I assume people are judging us, but... I mean, I say that I don't care, but I think everybody does to a certain extent. It does worry me. Oh, hi there. Hiya. Hi. I'm Single mum of five, Claire, who won't tolerate any mess in her home, is here to help. But how much of her advice will the Higgs family take on board? Um, dining room, as you can see. This is pretty much what it's like all the time. Um, do you, yeah, no, do we you, don't use it as you don't really room. use it as no, a dining room, so no, you don't really. ever sit down? Because some things, you know, you'll probably find in here that, that, that you haven't used for maybe months, years. Oh, yeah, probably. That could maybe yeah, sort of, yeah. you know, be mm. stored elsewhere. Yeah. I'll show you the, um, <clears throat> sitting room which is probably the, the least, <laughs> least messiest in the house. Um, this is like a classic. I mean, we've got thousands of toys because of the kids. Um, but I'll just do that. So that's, that's one thing, and that drives Susie mad. Um, because to me, that's tidy. Um, if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. So how often do you actually clean? 
Phil is supposed to clean it. Um, so how often do you? <laughs> I'm allergic do to you clean. clean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is Vicky's ring. As you can see, she doesn't like tidying. <laughs> oh dear. I'm a bit shocked. It's. It's. Yeah. It's. It's. Yeah. Just go for it. <laughs> go for it. Go on. I'm feeling the need to just stop getting rid of it. It's where to start, though, isn't it? Yes. And with further bedrooms upstairs, there's more mess to come. Wow. I wouldn't say this is as bad as downstairs, but it's not. It's not. It's not far behind it. How are you feeling about being surrounded by so much clutter? Pretty stressful. <laughs> it's stressful. Yeah. I can't even say what I want to say. That is... No, I'm not going to say it. It's bad. To me, that is hell. Bedrooms, clothes, junk, everywhere. <laughs> If I could do what I wanted to do in there, I would gut the whole place out and start again, from top to bottom. At the Higgs home in South London, Claire, who cleans around the clock in her own home, isn't satisfied with just taking on one of the cluttered rooms. Hiya. Hiya, right. morning. Welcome back. Her strategy is to blitz the whole house from top to bottom. I'm thinking that maybe we should start on the living areas. Yeah, cool. Obviously, we need to organise and declutter a bit first. OK. And then, obviously, once the rooms are a bit clearer or whatever, we can then start getting it all cleaned up. There seems to be piles of stuff that shouldn't be in here. That's my corner. Is this your rubbish? Yeah. That's where I put things if I don't want to deal with them. Because you've got mixtures of bits of everything. Yeah, and some of that stuff isn't complete either. And so. it's wet down here as well. The cat down there's not even ours. The cat down there's not even ours. There's a cat down there that's not even yours. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah. We've, got, we've got pets that aren't supposed to be in here. Yeah, we've never got what's cats. What's he doing there? Would you sit down? He's asleep. He's asleep. Yeah. Yeah. No, um... See, look, hiding behind the settees. <laughs> Anything else we're going to find under the settee? <laughs> After a couple of hours, what was once on the floor is now on the sofa waiting to be put away. I find this very difficult to deal with as well. This starts to stress me out now. I can't handle that. Um, so what I would do, I would have to clear that. But instead of doing it properly, I would just, like, chuck all the books on the bookshelf then throw things behind the city and obviously use that corner. Just so that so you can't, I can't see, see it. it. Yeah, and once yeah. I can't see it, I'm all right again. Mm. But seeing it drives me crazy. Yeah. I get stressed when I see clutter, but I will deal with it. I won't just leave it. I have yeah. to deal with it. I have the urge to clear it, and you'll probably find it's less stressful doing it bit by bit, rather than it is like we're going to have to do today yeah. in one big, you know, hoop of getting everything out of the way and cleared. At home, Claire devotes an hour every day to obsessively removing smudges from her surfaces. Pet hates, smears on televisions. Keep your finger marks off that TV! <laughs> the Higgs 13-year-old twins, Sam and Joe, have returned from school. In her own home, mum of five, Claire, expects her kids to fall in line with her cleaning regime. What do you think about your room? Uh, it's messy, but not as messy as a lot of things. <laughs> Would you like to have a sort of tidier room, or...? Not really, because when it's a little bit messy, it probably doesn't make much sense, but I find it's easier to find things. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> I think she's going to have a hard time in here because no one's going to want to do what she says and then um, people will start slacking. In South London, obsessive cleaner Claire has been sorting out the Higgs family house for three days. 
At home, she cleans every window in the house on a daily basis. That's a pet hate, that is. Look at that. It's been on there so long. The only thing you'd get that off is like one of those things that you have to grind it off with the thing, but then it scratches up the glass, so it's pointless even trying it. I couldn't live with that on there. I've replaced the window rather than look at that. Yeah. Downstairs, Phil and Susie are struggling to get their five kids, aged four to 15, to get involved with the clean. Uh, Sam, I need you in the kitchen. Come on. Harriet. Yeah? It's not your room. Come on, I'm going to go and get her. Don't Come on. Don't touch you off the bed. <laughs> Come on. Okay, okay, move. Come on. Oh, my God. Single mum Claire's own kids are expected to help out in the home and respect her obsessive cleaning routine. So have you finished your food? Yeah. So, are you going to try and get motivated today? Mum says you've not really done a lot. Come on. Anyway. <laughs> Vicky. Yes. Are you awake? Yes. Do you fancy coming and helping me? Do what? We're just going to wipe round a few little picture frames. Come on. I think cleaning's boring, so I'll be sleeping. I think the girls need a little bit more work. I think if any anyone's going to fall behind it, it'll be the girls, I think. I think they definitely need to be kicked into toe. Come on, I'll see you later. See you later. With the children reluctant to embrace the clean, Claire believes that some strict guidelines need to be set down, especially as Phil and Susie both struggle with their health. We've got a bit of a struggle um, with them. Yeah. You know, we've maybe put a bit more emphasis on having a bit of fun because it's been a difficult time lately or what have you. And, you know, sometimes having fun is maybe more important. And it's, yeah. it's just easier to, to, to back off and the sort of like the, the tidiness and the cleaning, I guess, the priority just goes down and it drops down a bit more and then a bit more. Being a single yeah. parent, yeah. I've had to be a bit harder with them because yeah. you've got to have some sort of order with them. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. Yeah. you know, they just tend to run rings yeah. around you. Obviously, if you put the discipline in early, it pays off in the long run. With my kids, obviously, they see how I am and it then sort of makes them realise that, you know, that things have to be kept yeah. that way for a reason. Um, you know. Yeah, sort of leading by example, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, basically. It's Claire's final day with the Higgs family and determined the entire house will be spotless by the time she leaves, she's put everyone to work clearing up their rooms, including 11-year-old Vicky. So, Vicky, did you realise you had so much rubbish in your room? Not really. But you're going to be glad to see the back of it, aren't yeah. you? Get a shot of it all. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I'm happy it's being done. It's not really that fun, but I, I want it to be done, so I'm just going to do it. Following Claire's advice, Phil's taking a firmer stance with the kids. Sam, Joe, come on. I need all these bags, or as many of these bags as you can, taken down to the bins, please. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you. It is important that the boys get involved because otherwise they're quite happy to just sit and play about and stuff. And again, it's just teaching them that uh, they need to take responsibility as well. It's their rubbish just as much as it is ours. It's their home just as much as it is ours, you know, so they have to be sort of proactive in it all. And it's nice to see it go. It's almost therapeutic, really. Yeah, it's like a sort of a, a fresh breeze coming through the house sort of thing. By the end of the afternoon, the house is ready for Susie's sister Sarah and close friend Sam to drop by. When Claire first arrived, every room in the Higgs home had become a dumping ground. Hiya. Hello, Hello Susie. Are we allowed in? Yep. Three days ago, the dining table had disappeared beneath piles of junk. Oh, my God! Oh, Where is everything? Every surface oh. is tidy. I have never ever seen it so tidy. And 11 year old Vicky's room was overwhelmed with mountains of clothes and rubbish. I can actually see under the bed as well. Brilliant. 
With every corner stuffed with clutter, the living room was a disorganised mess. This looks really good. There's areas of the room that I've never that I've never seen before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, neither have we. Really. <laughs> How have you found it this week? It started off, it was looking like it was going to be tough, but then everyone sort of got motivated and yeah. basically we had the kids helping. Um, so everyone's joined, everyone's, everyone's joined yeah. in. Oh, yeah. that's really great. So, it's really, yeah. really, really good to see. Upstairs, the children's bedrooms were littered with clothes and piles of toys. It's brilliant, absolutely. Absolutely amazing, I can't believe it. Yeah. Like a proper home now yeah, to yeah. the family. It'll be easy for Susie now. Yeah. It's just clean, tidy, smells nice. It's amazing. I've never seen no. it like this, ever. Definitely not. I've never seen it as tidy as this. It feels great that it's all done, yeah. You know, we weren't really working as a team, and now I think we, we are. Um, and obviously the uh, results were a lot better. I was quite impressed um, with Phil and Susie, and the kids as well, because I do think they generally um, tried their best. Yeah, no, I think they've done really well. But, yeah, I'm looking forward to going home, getting in my nice, clean house. Mm -hmm.